Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Previously, my god, just immaculate deception. It seems that Kate has hidden her crimes in plain sight. She escorted the body under a cloth right in front of everyone by pulling on the trolley, making everyone think it was like the, um, the, the other trolley with the... Table? Uh, I forget the words. <laughs> and what's more, she used to even tied the cloth that she used to cover it around her waist as part of her disguise. And man, it's just... She's been up to some crazy stuff. So now we need to find out why the hell did she do this? And also, hopefully, what the hell is up with Dane Gustavia? So let's get going here. Madam Delicia, I am so sorry. One week ago, I took your Megatoxin X bottle. I slipped it into that man's pocket to make it look like suicide. And if they suspected it was murder, the evidence would point to Madam Delicia. Damn, that is cold. If Katie? Kate. What were you thinking? Were we always trying to save Mr. Master together? I could not let myself be arrested. Not until I had proven Monsieur Master's innocence. From the very beginning, I had planned to turn myself in once everything was over. But I suppose it is too late to say that now. Kate, why? Why would you go this far? Even for Monsieur Shields, I've caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years, I have been a criminal. The IS-7 incident. Don't tell me that you were the true culprit. My greatest crime was stealing the Sorbet sculptures for my own selfish interests. When Monsieur Dover died, they were no longer just ordinary sculptures. They have become the final works of the sculptor Monsieur Master so deeply loved. What if... What if they melted before Monsieur Master returned? With that in mind, I couldn't let anyone touch them. Not even the police. Even though I knew it was wrong, I moved them to the mansion's freezer. However, I only wanted to preserve Monsieur Dover's art. I did not know his body was hidden among them. Huh. So, the IS-7 incident happens, and then the Master family gets ownership of this mansion. Then 18 years pass, and then only now does uh, Catherine Hall manage to buy the mansion with her earnings from being an actress and all that. And only then is she able to open up the art gallery. So you're telling me that... The sculptures, and indeed the corpse, were in this freezer for 18 years, and not one person from the Master family, like, you know, discovered any of that? Did... How does that work? How were they just kept in this freezer for 18 years? N nobody, no one saw it, ever, even though she wasn't in this mansion for 18 years. I feel like... I feel like that's a really big plot hole, but, I mean, weird. Also, what happens if there was ever, like, a single power outage, you know? I, I mean, I assume a rich family would have backup generators that would kick on when the power goes out. Like, I know that's a thing, but uh, there's a lot of questions I have about that. So she stole the sculptures without noticing the body. Monsieur Master would never take another person's life. But because of me, the body vanished, and Monsieur Master was found guilty. Oh, his hair did turn white, didn't it? Oh, I didn't even notice. That kind man, he treated someone like me as family. 
He meant more to me than anyone else, and yet... Kate. When Monsieur Master was found guilty, I was chased out of this mansion. Oh, here we go. I was finally able to reclaim the mansion just a few days ago, but... When I saw the sculpture still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized... Okay, what... Well, is that really the only explanation we're gonna get? That I was the one who hid Monsieur Dover's body. However, the statute of limitations had already expired. Therefore, I... could think of no other way to atone for my sins. It appears I have misunderstood her. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you thinking about, Mr. Edgeworth? There is one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And the reason she disguised the Autumn Palace to look like the Winter Palace was to make those involved in the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms. I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. She was trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence. In that case, Miss Hall's true objective was... to find the true culprit? Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit. Miss Hall, were you trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence? You wanted to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. Was that not your true goal? By displaying those sculptures, you'd attract those involved in the past incident. Only two people would know where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. The culprit would have panicked knowing that the body would be displayed publicly. Yes. And if the true culprit really showed up, there's the risk they'd erase their tracks. In the worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. But why would the killer even bother the statue of limitations mean he's completely gotten away with it? So, how could she protect the evidence while simultaneously luring in the culprit? I see. That's why she made the Autumn Palace look like the Winter Palace. Yes. And then, Miss Hall, you must have thought, whoever opens the Pisces case, believing it to be the Gemini case, must be the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. What? That means... that person is... the true culprit? Please wait a moment, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the IS-7 incident? Miss Hall was trying to trap the true culprit. If so, wouldn't the person who fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end well. Should I announce the true killer of Isaac Dover? Well, the game just said it won't go well, so don't make an accusation. But... I mean, how else will this plot progress? Make an accusation! What I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there is no need to hesitate. Yes, that's correct, Judge Courtney. I indict this person as the true culprit behind the IS-7 incident. One Dane Gustavia. Take that! Dane Gustavia, who fell victim to the poison gas, is the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. G Gusty is... Mr. Gustavia. Miss Hall. Didn't you believe that if you opened this gallery, the true culprit would come? 
That's why you set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. It is as you say, Monsieur Edgeworth. Now, would you please tell us the whole truth? Yes, I have nothing more to hide. I will tell you everything. I set a trap in the gallery to find the true culprit. Before the gallery opened, I left only the Autumn Palace unlocked. At opening time, when I went around to unlock each room, I discovered that the Autumn Palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the true culprit was on the other side of the door. My hand was... trembling. All that was left was for the trap to do its work. When I heard Monsieur Gustavia was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. And I thought that if the police discovered Monsieur Dover's body, it would prove Monsieur Master's innocence. Why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know that you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. However, all of this had been brought on by my own crime. That's why I wanted to save Monsieur Master as soon as possible. Kate. Not only that, the police hid the fact that the body went missing 18 years ago. Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. That's why I caused the incident at the museum's opening, with as many witnesses as possible. I'm sorry. Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you, I couldn't protect anyone. Mr. Shields, it must be tough on him as well. The one who should be apologizing is me. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Shields, I'm terribly sorry. I shall accept whatever punishment I am given. However, I must ask of you. Please, clear Monsieur Master's name. Well, attempted murder is a serious crime. The truth that was hidden for 18 years was revealed in an unexpected manner. However, to think that things would end this way... To be continued, right now. The evening draws on. Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Yes. What you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. Yes, I know. However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to reinvestigate. No false evidence from the IS-7 incident remains in the official case files. Moreover, there is no evidence to lend credence to Miss Hall's testimony. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. That I agree with. We cannot be certain that all the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in the case had a history of forging evidence. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooked such a prosecutor? That's none of my concern. The truth is that evidence was falsified. And the fact that Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I can see remnants of Prosecutor Von Karma within you. What did you say? You tried to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my, or rather, the PIC's logic. Oh! A rebuttal, eh? Hmm. I acknowledge that Prospector Von... Prospector? 
Now I'm just thinking of Manfred in like uh, coveralls and a yellow safety hat with a mining lamp on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Prospector fuck <fun> karma. <laughs> oh no. Ahem. <clears throat> I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Mr. Curate, a Miss Curator herself. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. Is that really what the PIC believes? Yes, every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. It seems she intends to hide the truth for the sake of the PIC. At this rate, neither Mr. Master nor Miss Hall will be saved. Well, don't save Hall. She tried to kill someone. I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fa fabricated the information about the body. If you acknowledge that, why won't you reopen the case? The Goddess of Law does not err in her judgments. While Prosecutor Von Karma may have used under- If you ask me, it's all been bogus ever since Von Karma fabricated evidence. And you claim that justice was served. What is the PIC thinking? I can already declare my verdict. There is no need for further investigation. Let's hear your explanation of the matter then. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I heard that the biggest factor in Mr. Master's conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor Von Karma had a hand in his confession, the ruling may not be just. The initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip Laser. He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the official reports. All I can say is that the ruling has already been handed down. Jeez, why does Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? Is the PIC so high and mighty? They sure seem like the arch enemy of prosecutors, to say the least. Huh. So they're kind of like that, uh, what the police are to great thieves. Says the great thief who nonchalantly works alongside the police. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Mr. Master murdered Isaac Dover? Mr. Master committed the murder while well, Miss Curator moved the body. That's what I believe. What? How can you say that? He wouldn't. We would never kill Monsieur Dober. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It is only natural to suspect you of being an accomplice. She has already confessed to her crimes, and now is not the time to judge her out of. Uh, judge her of her past crimes. In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. If she wanted to pin the crime on somebody, why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was a criminal. As he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine, he was caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. Can you prove that theory? Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There is probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there is nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must be. There must still be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clearer explanation. 
We already have ample evidence for both the IS-7 incident and today's poison gas incident. By ample evidence, you mean... For the IS-7 incident, we have a body, the murder weapon, and a pair of suspects. For the poison gas incident, we have the two chemicals and Miss Hall's confession. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all the evidence necessary. For your own PIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? How can you say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you've always welcome to join the Edgeworth Law Offices. <laughs> Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask that you refrain from making such needless remarks. <laughs> I understand. Well, regardless. There is no need to investigate any further. Are you saying that there is nothing left for us to investigate? We have already exhausted all ends in regards to the evidence. This court will accept no further deliberations. I should now deliver my verdict for the defendant, Catherine Hall. I hereby pronounce you- Hold it. There is still a need for further investigation. If you wish to halt my verdict, please do so with evidence. That is, if there is any evidence that requires further deliberation. I cannot allow this case to end here. There is still something that needs to be cleared up. Looks like I'll have to show Judge Courtney something to convince her. I think I know what it is. There is no need to investigate any further. But... Um, there is a long-standing piece of evidence that still does not have an answer. The fingerprints on the frame. Who, yeah, who... Who opened this? Oh! Judge Courtney, could you take a look at this piece of evidence? I'm afraid I cannot accept that piece of evidence. I do not believe it has any relation to my testimony. Meow. As I expected, she's nothing like Mr. DeBest. However, I won't back down so easily. Okay, what is a loose end? So the gas burner was used to melt the case open by Gustavia, presumably. Okay, we, we know how it was found in the fountain. The body and the cloth were dumped in the fountain. The cloth started floating first, then the body thawed and rose up too. The Pisces sketch, yeah, that's self-contained. It shows the poison being created as the two flu fluids mixed. That's poison gas. This has been settled. This clearly is not the answer, we just tried it. The rock salt lamp. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess Dover was bludgeoned with it in the past. Um... I mean, we could investigate Gustavia and Dover's relationship. They knew each other. That is definitely an avenue of exploration we have not tried yet. It could be this. Everything is known about this teapot. It's the second one and had the normalium hidden in it. Lift trolley, everything about this is solved. The sketch of beauties, yes, everything is solved here, unless... Courtney herself is hiding something. Oh. The liquid analysis. Yeah, I think everything here was solved. Yeah, the chocolates were kept in her pocket because she didn't want to put them on the tray.
Okay, I looked through literally everything now then. I... Was there anything here? I'm inside the dessert. Um, Hypoclusia. Victor of as accomplice. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be the photo. Objection! No! Okay, well in that case I'm starting to think that maybe... Okay, maybe this isn't what I present on. They already have ample evidence for both cases. They attempted to murder Mr. Gustavi today in order to pin the blame on him. I mean, she did try to murder him. Not to pin the blame on him. Oh, yeah, it was. It was, yeah. We know the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. Uh, where he successfully convicted Master Accomplice. That prosecutor wouldn't come with that. Okay, this is true, this is true, this is true, this is true. I think this is true. Or is it? I have ample evidence. Do we have ample evidence for the poison gas incident? Is there a hole somewhere? Okay, timeline of events. Catherine Hall opened the art exhibit. She wheeled out the body. Oh, no, she didn't wheel out the body. She wheeled out the, the Pisces and Capricorn sculptures covered them with cloths to make them look like Gemini and Taurus, and laced the Pisces sculpture, disguised as Gemini, with the poison gas. And uh, the poison gas mixture. Then she locked every room but this one so that when the person went inside, they would heat it up and poison themselves, uh, hopefully killing them. Afterwards, she dumped the real body into the river so it would float up into the fountain and be discovered. I feel like... Uh, what we haven't fully obtained yet is Gustavia's perspective on this event, the victim in this attempted poison death. We need Gustavia's own opinion. I think that's what we need to hang on to. But what what in the world evidence could I show that's like I mean it could be this. Objection. No. Huh. Anything for Gustavia's own. You know, I. I did try the frame finger marks, but only on this statement. What if this doesn't count as ample? Okay, we'll try this, and then if it doesn't work, I'm gonna look up a guide. Okay. Well. You can't say I didn't try, huh? I, I tried to logic it out, I failed.
Okay, here we go. Gonna look things up. Okay. There is no need to investigate any further. And on this, I show the liquid analysis results. But why? Oh. Oh! Oh! The statues that melted didn't contain the body. Why would there be blood in it? Yeah, the melted Gemini sculpture. Or... Wait, no. Shouldn't be melted Pisces? Oh, I'm confused. Let's just see the logic here. There is still one piece of evidence from the IS-7 incident that remains unsettled. Take a look at this. This is... This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Who does this blood belong to? Until we know the answer, this case is still open. There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. I heard nothing of this from Sebastian. This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself. Huh, so even though you had no investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It is not my place to decide such things. I must ask that you, that you check in with Sebastian regarding this matter. Hey, good news, you guys! <gasps> He's up and about. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. Mr. Gustavia. So, he's alive. Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. Uh, you are Sir Assistant, are you not? You've grown so big this time. This one is your assistant, then. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> He's an assistant candidate, and Gregory Edgeworth's son. Wow, he is laughing a lot. I am Miles Edgeworth, the prosecutor. Yeah, what a twist of fate. I am in your debt. It is thanks to you that I have completely recovered. There is no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> what do you speak of? While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover's murderer. What? Really? Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. So you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have! Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what, ha what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap? That's not a very funny joke. 
I'm a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet been made clear whether or not you are the criminal. This is only their baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of the prosecutor with the juris without jurisdiction. Hmm. <laughs> At least there is one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I am a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edgeworth the truth of 18 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Objection! Judge Courtney, is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can be brought to light? I merely believe in the judgments of the Goddess of Law. Yeah, this... This Courtney lady, she... Something is just wrong with her. She is trying to hide so much. Ultimately, those who render judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there is no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you are going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. Ha uh ha, -huh. I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justine, what should I do now? You are being suspected because you set off the poison gas. Can you tell us the reason? Why you opened the Pisces case? Understood. I came to see Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. Miss Hall, there was nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place. I didn't even lock the doors. I was very busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the odd one. I see. This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the Autumn Palace. Which is why he ended up entering the Autumn Palace. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. The gallery should remain silent. Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I will not allow any objections. Gallery? This isn't even a courtroom. Now then, why did you open the Pisces case? I wish to view Sir Dover's handiwork up close. The Gemini sculpture? No, it was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed a burner to open it. But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a convenient testimony. It sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? There are parts of Mr. Gustavia's testimony that I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. That? Would it not make sense for suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself? She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Objection. Kate turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you were her only target. You... You are willing to accept the words of this criminal as a truth? Miss Hall must atone for her crimes. However, the same can be said for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, it seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Dover. If there is no evidence to suggest that I killed him, you cannot suspect me. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove that Mr. Gustavia is the criminal? All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... 
Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? Well, if there isn't any evidence, we should try reorganizing the facts. If Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover, there must have been a motive. Motive? Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. Well, they collaborated together, Dover and Gustavia, but then they parted ways for the finals. Maybe Gustavia didn't like that. Maybe Gustavia wanted to even the playing field, or make it so that only he could be the winner by process of elimination. It's not easy to take another person's life. Eighteen years ago, your old man would also discuss motive with Prosecutor Von Karma. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant. If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour... It could serve as a motive for murder. We couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavia 18 years ago, but this time things are different. If we connect everything we've learned so far, the truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. It seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the gloved finger marks on the picture frame was your doing? Oh, I forgot about that. That could have saved me a lot of life bar. <laughs> Delicia denied leaving the finger marks on the frame. Oh, never mind. If they were left by Mr. Gustavia, he may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. Oh. Gustavia wouldn't have known at that point that it was medical information. Medical recipes. Huh. Monsieur Master asked me to change the film and the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film. It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake, though. The information my father collected 18 years ago was certainly not for naught. If there is no evidence, then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. Here we go. So... Yo, Gustavia might have taken photos of the angel recipe. Let's try that. I think that's the most important thing to get. If he had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out. I see. Pictures, eh? The problem is the time at which he entered Mr. Master's room. Mr. Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seemed both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Was Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, then there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. It's 
So the motive for murder was because the partnership turned sour. Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim, Isaac Dover, to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems you know about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the design while you were in charge of the taste, is that correct? <sighs> Back then, my training had been insufficient. It seems you worked together through the semifinals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wish to compete in the finals against Sir Master on our own merits. You must have also helped with Isaac Dover's dessert even during the finals. Ugh. What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself 18 years ago? That you cooperated until the day before the finals. The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sorbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sorbet in advance the day before. <laughs> That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? Objection. The views of the dead are of no concern to me. Why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? <laughs> if there is a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down, that would be a motive for murder. <laughs> that could be a possibility. However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Sir Master's room. I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while Sir Master was also there, making his desserts. Well, clearly he was killed elsewhere, right? In other words, there is no way I could have committed the murder. That's not true. If there was a moment when Mr. Master was absent from the room, I could prove that it was possible for Mr. Gustavia to commit the murder. The timing happened during tea, when it was only Gustavia and Dover walking around. Isaac Dover was alive up until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Gustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? <laughs> Sorry, but I am far from satisfied. Because I am finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show us that truth? No. There is no need to present any evidence, since we can just have Mr. Gustavia tell us the truth. Oh, so this is where you use that, right? Indeed. Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. No, well, what is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I wanted to compete for the title of the world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. If that was truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. Oh, here we go. Logic chess, huh? Okay, well, tell you what, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I know it's 10 minutes too early. I like to go for 
one hour for my videos, but I have the sneaky suspicion that this case might end next time. It could be an hour or even less than an hour. I feel like we could have a logic chess bout and then an immediate um, rebuttal session. And then it might end. So, who knows? Maybe next video is going to be extra long, too. It'll balance out, I'm sure. So, I'm so glad we can finally talk to Dane Gustavia. Like I thought, he's the key to all this. So, man, it, it really is looking like Catherine Hall was not the killer at all. I mean, she certainly was suspicious, and indeed she did some awful, awful, awful things. A an attempted murderer she is. A murderer she is not. She did not kill Isaac Dover. And she did not kill Dane Gustavia, though she tried to for the latter. Um... She absolutely deserves to go to jail for that. Like, I have no sympathy for her. At all. Um... Like, uh, this might be a bit heavy, heavy to say, but I believe that in real life, like, the death penalty, like, any crimes that could be committed that deserve death, no, the one and only crime that deserves death is genocide. I think that's the only one. All the rest, it's, like, possible to, like, there's always a chance someone could be wrongly wrongly con convicted. An innocent person could be sentenced to death. As long as that possibility is a thing that could exist, there's no way I would ever trust a state to control someone's life to determine that it could end. But, like, if a person in charge of a genocide... They're usually people on the world stage and their actions are clear to view for the entire world to see. There's no ifs and or buts. That's the only thing I I would like think that deserves a death. So Catherine Hall trying to kill someone for killing Isaac Dover and therefore pinning the blame on a master. No, she's not justified in her actions. Not in the slightest. I don't believe that. Um... Um, so yeah, it really is looking like Dane Gustavia is the person who killed Isaac Dover, so we'll have to prove that next time. Um, yeah, got, I think the next time is going to be the end of case three here. Uh, so I am looking forward to the fourth case. As good as this one has been, I'm still looking forward to the future because, hey, more Ace Attorney is always good Ace Attorney. Oh, man. It's crazy to think. I'm like, I'm like, like, just over halfway done with this franchise, you know? Or maybe not even that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm halfway through this franchise. It's wild to think about. Ah. Uh, Man, hopefully, hopefully by the time I wrap things up and every game has been played, I mean, hopefully Ace Attorney 8 is a thing that will exist at that point. Because I'd love to play it day one, but of course, if it does get announced and then come out before I'm fully caught up with the franchise, no, I will have to wait. But uh, playing it day one would be desirable. A hypothetical new Ace Attorney game, you know? Uh, but that is a dream. That was just a dream, so... I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.